guys, it's Nini. Welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, I recreated this look that I was wearing in one of my fall hauls. This was actually requested by a subscriber. But just a quick note, you guys, if you guys are subscribed to me or whether you're subscribed or not, but hang out with me here, watch my videos, comment on YouTube or my Instagram, um, just know I consider you friends and not subscribers. That was the whole purpose of me like starting my YouTube was to meet other people obsessed with makeup so I could like so that we could talk about makeup together. This is truly a makeup outlet for me. You guys you have no idea like literally every conversation I have I always try to steer it towards makeup and it's honestly boring most of my friends I think and so I figured what other community to turn to than the beauty community and you know what like I want to be like even though my channel is like beauty based I want to build a friendship community full of friends who have the same interests that I do that we could talk hours and hours about makeup truly paradise <laughs> all right guys so yeah once again shout out to Laura Love for requesting this look I hope you enjoy it and if you do please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hang out with me some more in the future or in my past videos you can also follow me on Instagram my username is nini underscore irene 19 and it's also in the description box below and so yeah if you want to hang out you know where to find me if you wanted to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So this look is actually very easy to achieve. You don't have to use the colors I'm using or the brands that I'm using. You can use whatever's in your collection. First off, I'm priming my eyes using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So for today's look, I will be using the Morphe 35O palette. And the first shadow I'm taking is this bright orange one on a Sigma fluffy brush, stamping it on the outer half of my lid and then blending inwards. And this will be my transition shade. Next, I'll be taking this medium brown using a Morphe M433 and placing that on the outer half of my lid to give it some depth. Next, I'll be taking this deeper brown and placing it on the outermost part of my lid. Using a flat shadow brush, I'm going to be picking up this pretty coppery metallic shade and placing it on the inner half of my lid. And I, of course, applied it dry and then sprayed it down to foil it. And then to give it a really nice gradient, I'm going to take this metallic brown right here. Kind of reminds me of Sable from MAC and I'm going to be applying it between the copper shadow and the matte brown to give it a really nice gradient seamless effect. And now I'm taking this cotton round with some makeup remover and cleaning up my under eye. Now I'm applying my Tarte Shape Tape, the original Shape Tape Formula Foundation and blending that out with the Morphe M439. Next I'll be setting my foundation with MAC Studio Tech uh, powder using a BH Cosmetics powder brush. And to warm up my face I'll be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and the Sonia Kashuk Angled Contour Brush. And if I look a little bit distracted, it's because I'm watching Vampire Diaries. You guys, the show is awesome. I cannot get enough. I am so hooked. 
Next up, I'll be applying this Milani Rose Blush with my Sonia Kashuk Blush Brush. You guys, I love this blush brush. Almost got tongue tied. This brush for applying blush, it's so awesome and it's so soft. I love this brush. Next up is highlighting, which I think is most people's favorite part. I'm using the Anastasia Amorizi highlighter and the Anastasia A23 brush to apply it. Next, I'll be filling in my brows, and my preference is to use a deep brown eyeshadow with a cool undertone, and I'm applying that with a large angled liner brush from Coastal Scents. Next, I'll be highlighting my brow bone with this light shimmery shade. It's really pretty, and I'm using a Coastal Scents detailing brush to do that. And to highlight my inner corners, I'll be taking the shimmery pink shade. Now that I have all of my powder products down, I'm going to go ahead and lock that in place with my Mario Badescu setting spray. And for my lower lash line, I'll be taking a Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Vivid Jade and running that on my lower lash line, of course, and then blending it out with a pencil brush. I absolutely love these shimmer, the shimmer and glows and the glitter and glows. I think they are so fun to play with. Next, I'll be tight lining my waterline with LA Girl Gel Liner in Deep Brown. And then I'll be doing my liner and lashes off of camera and then moving on to my lips with this Anastasia liquid lipstick and trust issues. I think this is so fitting for the fall season. I love this color. And this is it, this is the completed look. You're now ready to slay at the pumpkin patches. And if you guys do recreate this look and post it on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to see your interpretation of this makeup. All right, guys and gals, that is, or this is the completed look. Um, thank you so much to Laura Love, I believe, for requesting this very fall look. It's very fall appropriate. I love it with the green under eye and the coppery bronzy lid and these plummy lips. It's just, ah, I just need my pumpkin spice latte. Take me to a pumpkin patch and an apple orchard so I can pick some apples and make a nice apple pie or at least buy one from Walmart. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if there's any other looks that you might have seen on my Instagram or here on YouTube that I haven't done yet, let me know and I'd be glad to recreate that for you guys. Um, yeah, so that's it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!